Hey guys, Mr. Newton here, and I'm going to go ahead and work out one of these homework problems for you guys so you see how to do it, and uh, that should help you to uh, finish the rest of these up, turn them in, and do a great job with it. Okay, let's get right to it. Here we go. So here is the homework assignment that you guys have. Um, so uh, some unit conversions, we're doing a little dimensional analysis. Okay, so here's all of our conversion units, and conversion units are always things that are set equal to each other. You know, you guys know some of these from everyday life, like 12 inches equals one foot. Now these ones right here in your homework assignment, they're probably not uh, units that you're used to. And uh, I did that on purpose so that um, the dimensional, now you could focus on the dimensional analysis and not think about the units and not think about any of the other ways that you've uh, done this before so that you can really, really learn this process. Okay, so here we go. Let's do number one together. It says here that, um, well, the first part of any of these problems is to identify the beginning and the end, okay? So the end point, your end point, is always going to be linked to the question. So when you look at this, you find the question. Here's the question, how many, and it says subdups, okay? So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, draw a line. So the first thing to do is draw a line. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that as my ending unit. Sup dups. There we go. So I know that's, that's the last one right there. Since that's the question, that's where it's going to end. Okay. Now I need to find my start. So whenever you find, whenever, you, whenever you're doing these, you always look for your end and your start. So your start is always going to be a measured unit. It's going to have a number with it, and it's going to have a unit. So here you go. This one right here, 25 bacon licks. That is going to be my start point, OK? Um, so this is what I start with. If you read the question, it kind of makes sense that you know this is what you're starting with, and you want to know how to end with these. So I'm going to go ahead and write that right there, and I'm going to put that in there. Okay. Now what I need to do is I need to make my plan. And my plan is going to be a way that I can connect this to this. And so that's always the way it works. And conversion units are what connects seemingly two unrelated things, right? Because bacon licks and sup dups are seemingly unrelated. All right. So let's take a look. What can I connect bacon licks to? So if I look up here in my conversion unit, it looks like I can connect bacon licks to Dell Warfers right there. Um, okay. So let's go ahead and do that. So I know that bacon licks connects to Dell Warfers. I'm going to put my Dell Warfers right here. All right. And then, and then what can I connect Dell Warfers to? Remember, I'm trying to get to subdups. So it looks like I can connect subdups to Lux. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm just going to keep looking through here and see, just, I'm going to write down these connections as I find them. So I can, I know I can go bacon licks to Dell Warfers. Look, I can go Dell Warfers to bean dabs. So this connects to this bean dabs and then bean dabs connects to what? Uh, let's see. Look, bean dabs connects to Lux. So bean dabs connects to Lux. Okay. And then look, Lux connects to sup dubs. And so these actually connect to each other uh, right there. So I'm going to go ahead and um, bring this a little bit closer um, just to kind of make it look a little more even and uh, get rid of this line right here. So sup dubs. Oops. All right, there we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my lines in between. Okay. And, uh, and, and so this top line, which we call your plan, is always able to connect your start to your finish. You know that your N has to be subdups. And you know your start is right here with the bacon licks. And you know that this bacon licks connects to this because you have a conversion unit. And you know this connects to this because you also have a conversion unit. So right there. And then this connects to this, and then this connects to this. So uh, as long as you have a, a connection with conversion units from each one, then you're going to get this right every single time. Now your next process is to bring over your units down diagonally. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
So I'm gonna write my bacon licks right here. I'm gonna just bring these down. So these are always gonna go down in this fashion right here. Once you get the, the top line, you bring all of these down diagonally, starting with the first one. And you don't bring the numbers, just the units. Okay, so Dell Warfers, and then Bean Dabs, and then Lux. Okay, there we go. So now we have um, these all filled out. Look, we brought each one of these down diagonally like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fill in each of these conversion units, and that's where they're equal to each other. So I see I have 467 Dell Warfers and 6.5 Bacon Licks. I have uh, 3.27 Bean Dabs and 4.5 Dell Warfers. Um, lux to bean dabs, I have five lux and four bean dabs. Now remember, these always these things right here called conversion units, these always have to be equal to each other. So notice that they always are equal to each other. All right, so I have five lux and four, no, um, oops, I did that one wrong. Okay, so I have, um, it looks eight lux to two sup dubs. So eight lux to two sup dubs right there. All right, now the next part of the process is simply to multiply everything on the top and then divide by everything on the bottom. So uh, let's go ahead and do that and watch how I do that. Make sure that you guys uh, do the very same thing. So I have 25 times, so this top line is multiply 467 times 3.27 times 5 times 2. Okay, so that's my top line. And notice I just put multiply in there. Now I'm going to go down to my bottom line. I'm going to hit divided by 6.5 divided by, you hit divided by on each of the bottom line, and then it turns out right. 45, uh, 4.5 divided by 4 divided by 8. And I press enter, and there's my answer, 407.8766024. Now, two six. so I need to round that. I need to round that correctly. So how do I round that correctly? Well, um, you never use conversion units to figure out your sig figs. You always use this uh, starting number right here. So if I look at this starting number right here, I see that um, it's 25.0, which is uh, three sig figs, right? So I can only keep three sig figs, so that means I need to round this third one. It looks like it rounds up. So my answer is going to be 408 sup dups. There we go. That's my final answer right there um, because that is rounded to match the sig figs there in the beginning. So this is where you determine your sig figs, right? Um, put, do your, start with your finish and your start and then make sure that each one of these connects, bring the units down diagonally, fill them in, multiply and divide, round to the correct number of sig figs, and you will always have a correct answer. All right, guys, I hope that that makes sense to you and you're able to do the rest of these with ease. Um, now, keep in mind that, um, you know, sometimes as you're making those connections, like they don't connect and you got to go back and there's other things that equal other things. So, uh, so, so figure it out. It's fun. It's kind of like a little puzzle and uh, you guys are going to do great.